so convenient these days to have a car that doesn't require a key to start it. You just push a button and go. But some drivers forget to push that button to shut the car off. If the car is left running in the garage, it can send deadly carbon monoxide into your home. And the New York Times is reporting that more than two dozen people have been killed because of carbon monoxide poisoning all over the country since 2006. It's because of a keyless ignition vehicle inadvertently left running in a garage. Dozens of others have been injured, some left with brain damage. Uh, this is a problem that I've never even considered, mm -hmm. but hearing about it is so sad because, Matt, this seems, uh, first of all, it seems entirely preventable. Oh, yeah. But when you think about it, you can absolutely understand why someone might forget. Mm -hmm. I, I've done this myself. I've walked away from the car with the key still in there, and it'll be beeping at me, but I'm worried about a million other things that are going on. And I guess if you, you, you think that, okay, if it's parked in the garage, it's not going to do me any harm. But, of course, the carbon monoxide can get into your house as well. Mm -hmm. That was one of the examples laid out in the story. Right. And what is the hard part about this too is now all of these, a lot of these cars out there now have these keyless systems. But as people get older, they may not hear the beeps. Sure. They, the cars are also very quiet, so they may not realize that the car is still on. And so they have really tried hard. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has said, "Hey, car manufacturers, you need to do something about this." But they haven't done very much in terms of beeps or mm -hmm. warning signals. I have a keyless car, and I didn't even realize that it didn't shut off automatically right. by a certain time. I just assumed that it would, but it's something that when I get out of the car, I always check to see if the ignition is on, because you really can't tell when mm. you're getting out of the car yeah. if the ignition is on. A lot of times when I stop, I have the automatic alert, mm -hmm. the engine will turn off to save on gas. But yeah, you would think that there would be something in there that would automatically shut off the car. If you have the right. key physically with yeah. you, mm -hmm. I just don't understand why that isn't a government mandate. Well, you think there are certainly times where you would want to get out of the car and leave the car running, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Like, so maybe you want to go move the, the garbage can into your house yeah. or go grab something get out the of the mail. truck or get the mail or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it seems like you could have a time limit on this. And right. Ford, for example, has put uh, all of their newer vehicles shut off 30 minutes. Right. If the fob's out for 30 minutes, that's not so long that it would kill you right. if that were leaching into your house. But it still has the convenience factor of convenience. what they're. But the problem is for. the older cars don't have that, right? So okay. if you have, uh, if you bought a Ford or whatever in 2013 or 2012. You'd have it, to retrofit. You'd have to retrofit. But it's it. interesting because the, it doesn't cost that much to retrofit. And it's what, five bucks a car, I think. Mm -hmm. General Motors had to retrofit. That's it. Well, it's this is largely expensive. a software thing right. where you can hmm. just adjust the software in the car. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think of every car right. that has this, a lot of even five dollars a car is a lot for mm -hmm. a company. But Which think is, of uh, think of these lives. Which is probably why a lot of the companies are reluctant to really move Spend forward on yeah, it right sure, now. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's just a warning. Make sure you think about it when you, if Good you have that kind of car.